No locals, no problem. The most underrated deck in the world. And post balance will be the best deck after Pendulum and win with it. This deck will go untouched in the whole battle list. And to signal the greatest deck post battle list after Pendulum, we got the beautiful Alex Playgrat that's going to be available for literally two more days. The holiday sale goes on for two more days. After New Year's, the price will go skyrocket back up. So make sure to get yours right now in the description. With that said, it's time. It's time to destroy everyone at this locals. Let's go. Today, we're going to be playing Monkey. Outlet Turbo, but we're not playing Outlet like the way you're supposed to. You normally play Outlet. No, 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 no. We are gonna be playing. I call it the Heavenly Prison spam deck. We are playing three Lord of the Heavenly Prison in the main deck. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because at the end of this video, I'll be showcasing to you guys my winning deck list and not just winning deck list, but a lot of theory with this deck. So if you play Eldritch or even have this random thought in your head like, oh, I want to play a budget best deck in the planet after Pendulum, uh, maybe your brain is not big enough to play Pendulum. And that's okay because no one's is. But if you want to play still an incredible deck that is extremely budget, play Eldritch. And if you guys want to learn it, no matter what you play, if you guys are tired of, of losing games for no reason, half your opponent's deck is useless against this deck, this is the deck to do it. Your opponent is going to have Chalice, Infirm, Droplets, Veiler, hand traps, all this shit's useless against this deck. Dark Ruler, like Scythe, like doesn't matter what they have, it's all useless. That's the reason why the deck is insane. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video, watch it all, and at the end of the video, I'll explain more in depth and theory about the deck. In the meantime, enjoy the four rounds as we clap up this locals. Let's go. Hey, you guys, right? I know exactly what we're gonna wear today. I know exact. I'll be right back, boys. Think that I'm invisible. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to win wearing a shirt of ours myself. Let's go. <laughs> we're going to win this tournament. Why? Because we're the best dressed. We're the best dressed. <laughs> We're the best dressed, baby. Oof. And we got chest hair. Oh, you know what we gotta do? I should take off the sweater. I should take off the sweater. And rock super chest hair. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Imagine going to a club. So, my name is Steven. <laughs> Oh, this me? <laughs> yeah, it's me. You like the shirt? Yeah? Oh, you like the shirt? Oh, you want to come home? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I only talk to girls that play Pendulum, and you look like you play Bird Up or something. So get out of my face, please. For the record, okay? It's not narcissism. It's called religion. Time to draw extra Heavenly Prison, Curse LN. Uh, you all ready to win? These are the hands we're gonna be drawing. Ready? What the fuck? Yo, if Heavenly Prison is in here, I literally just said we're gonna draw Elan extra. Okay, if Heavenly Prison is this card, I have no words for how broken this deck is and how mystic triff I am because I literally just said we're gonna draw Elan extra and Heavenly Prison. That's okay, because we're gonna draw, right? So we have two more draws. If this is Heavenly Prison, I'm going to lose my shit. Alright, still broken. Still broken. Heavenly Prison is going to get an extra for next turn. So that's actually insane because we're going to set five anyways. So that's wild. I don't think that's a joke. I think that's a solid strategy. I think that if you took this shirt to a first date and you sat there and wore shades as well and you just were an absolute chad during the date. Sounds like a successful date to me. Sounds like There'll be a second date. That's what it definitely sounds like. Yep. I'd wear this to a first date. I would wear this to a first date. Actually, no. I will wear this to a first date. 
Let's call some girl. One sec. Local time, baby. Let's go. Well, you already know that we're going to play remote duels. There is no actual COVID allowing locals to exist in real life. But that's all good. It don't matter to me. Here, we're going to be playing. Look at, look at that beautiful t-shirt, bro. With this shirt that I'm wearing, I only have set three against Sword Soul. But that's okay. That's okay. That's all we need. I start off with Scarlet off the bat because I don't want to hit, hit with Ash. So he ashes the Scarlet. This is a little trick here to make sure to Scarlet first. Conk on resolution. Don't go Conk Scarlet. Scarlet first to see if he has Ash. He goes Vishuda. I'm just going to let his Ecclesia. I'm going to let him play a little bit here. He, he gets another Taiye. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of the Taiye. And then he's going to go Long Yuan. I'm like, oh, shit, he had Long Yuan. A little unfortunate. I do have Ice Person in my hand, but it's locked out because of uh, my own Scarlet. So that's a little trick you guys are going to need to know. And, man, you guys are going to need to get your Elish playmats, man. Deadass, these are the most beautiful playmat that I've had on my website, like, literally ever. It's so beautiful. Get it right now at TripGaming.com, guys. If I had, if I was playing my, on my LH playmat right now, this man's would stand no chance. So make sure to get yours now. Uh, my guy goes back to you here. I go Scarlet off the bat, hoping to survive. I brick badly, bro. I brick really bad. I drew, I think, two Golden Lords in hand or some weird nonsense like that. Uh, so it's just, it's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to end up scooping, and I'm visibly pissed. Also, I can't really see my cards in my hand because of my, uh, because <laughs> because I cheat. <laughs> Actually, funny story. Okay, take this in. He's going to laugh really hard. I think that I had a double conk in my hand. Okay. Uh, I sent... I think I set both conks by accident. I don't know. I forgot. I forgot what happened. But uh, it was just uh, absolute nonsense. Here, we're going to go deep barrier. I'm going to trigger my my lord. God, I got to get the heavenly prison out on the field ASAP. So with deep prison, this guy, he can't do anything, bro. Deep prison makes his deck pass. Uh, I go extra off here. That's when I set off our card. And I, I am a little concerned that he has the pop two card. But it doesn't matter whatsoever because I have five sets. Uh, it ended up being this Heavenly Circle, so I'm like, that's fine. I go Anti-Spell. I don't get hit with the big duster here. Now he's going to go Ecclesia. I'm like, that's fine. I literally have five sets. It's all good, dog. Uh, I'm going to uh, let him summon. I'm going to strike the summon uh, so I can get that out of the way. Now that the Dragite's out of the way, we don't have to fear that for Gozen. Uh, so here he goes Taiye. I'm like, I'm going to Skill Drain. I could have Skill Drain early, but I want him to get rid of the cards from his hand first. And it's going to go game three, number three now. There's a lot of important plays here that you guys need to learn. There's a lot of small, like, tricks. There's a lot of small tricks that are very helpful. Such as, with Skill Drain, you don't want to activate it right away. Try and get them to waste their whole hand first. Like, you have so many sets, that, like, Strike's never really going to be used with Skill Drain. So, if you use it, Strike first versus Skill Drain first, Strike just ensures it gets out of the way. Uh, here, he's going to start off with the Classic, and I'll get Shishao. He's going to go for Blackout. He's going to get Long Yuan. Special Long Yuan. So we're going to deal with Baron, Desires, Blackout, She Shout, this whole jazz. But, I mean, my hand's insane. It just doesn't matter what he has. I go Lava Golem his ass. And then I saw Golden Lord pop his set with Scarlet, set four. Like, this is absolutely wild. Uh, he has Lightning Storm, but we had Solemn Judgment. Always keep your Solemn Judgment as going second. Uh, because e even both side deck. Because both side deck, they're going to have... They just they don't have enough cards to side out. So they're going to ha still have the Lightning Storm and evenly match in their deck even when they go first. So make sure to do that. It's very important. Like, if I didn't have Solemn Judgment there, I just fully lost. Uh, here, I'm going to win in a very funny way. <laughs> I go Scarlet. He's going to go evenly. I'm like, that's fine. Let's go really down to the wire here. He sets two. I'm like, sure. I'm going to go uh, attack. Scarlet, set. I'm just trying to set up some protection here. And there's really not much my mans could do here. He has like three cards left in deck. He goes Lightning Storm. I'm like, that's fine. He has nothing left because he's three cards left in deck. He banished everything. He used double desires. And at the end of the day, Elich is just the best grind deck on the planet. If this, if any duel lasts past turn five, Elich will win 99% of the time. And that's exactly what happens here. So he literally just has absolutely no gas. It's all gone. Nothing he can do. And I'm like, this is just fine. He goes blackout. I'm like, that's fine. He has two cards left in deck, three cards left in deck. I'm like, sure. I'm just going to set, set out a wall. And there's nothing you can do. We are 1-0. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, boys. No, actually, Sword Soul is a tough matchup. If I'm being honest, Sword Soul is a tough matchup. Because you get they get Blackout and Baron. So that not only pop Baron not only pops a trap, but it negates a trap. So it both pops and negates a trap. And Blackout pops two traps. That's a really tough matchup. And you can't sphere mode them because they end on Baron and Shishao. So you can only lava goal in them. I drew Godly. I was lucky to draw Godly game three. Actually, very difficult to out, the, out to defeat them. They literally have four pops. If you play LH perfectly, you will not lose.
You will not lose if you play Elish perfectly. Now, it's very evident that we played game one terribly. It's evident. I also drew for the ass. But if we summon our Heavenly Prison, we won that duel. We play this match perfectly. We win the whole locals, and that's it. So let's go. Next round's about to start right now. Round number two is starting now. We lost the dice roll against Birds. And I want you guys to pay really close attention to this because this is going to be a master class on how to break boards, okay? <laughs> like, <coughs> we he doesn't go the full combo. He, has, he goes Robin, Avion, Set, and uh, that. So I'm like, that's fine. I'm just going to go reveal my Heavenly Prison. He's going to special out the end phase. I'm like, sure thing, Buckaroo. No problem. <laughs> Do your thing, bro. No problem. Like, I'm playing Edledge, bro. Like, if I'm playing on this Edledge playmat, he would have already scooped by now. But it's all good. Because the Magician playmat is also $20 off right now on TriffGaming.com. We have a lot of sets on, uh, a lot of mats on sale right now. So go check it out, TriffGaming.com. He summons. I'm like, that's fine. He goes, Bird Call. He summons again. Now that he has a full field, I'm like, all right, let's clear everything. Look at this play. Look at this play. He has a full field. I'm like, all right, now it's time. Trap Trick, Torrential. See you later. See you later, my boys. See you later. See you later to everyone. I had needle ceiling as well if I really wanted to, but I was like, nah, let's just do this. I want my conk and grave. Uh, I also special prison at the resolution, and there's nothing you can do. You can put up uh, this, but there's just nothing you can do at this point. Uh, he goes Zeus. I'm like, sure thing, dude. I made sure to set a Scarlet knowing that he could still Zeus with the Canary in his hand, and this is all good. I'm going to reveal another one. I, I bait him into using Zeus, but really I get both my Elich stuff resolving, so I kind of bait him there with a big brain play. I set double Scarlet with him not knowing, so I could resolve or one Scarlet, one, one Conk or something like that, so not knowing, so I could... I set a, a Wakaro instead of Conquistador, knowing that he could just Zeus, he will Zeus, so I get Scarlet and Conk back. And just like that, look, if any duel, like I said earlier, if any duel past turn five, I win the duel automatically. Look at this, OTK, boom, 10,000 in one turn. Just like that, bro, who says Elich can't OTK? 10,000 in one turn, let's go. Elich second best deck, I've been saying this. And on top of that, we lost the dice roll. A lot of people think Elich only goes first. God, no. Elich is even better going second because there's so many traps and it's an equivalent. You have Torrential Strike basically every hand. If it's not Strike, Double Torrential does the same thing. He breaks here. He sets two. I'm like, all right, all right, dude. Let's set five here. Uh, he passes again. I go Scarlet. I'm like, yeah, if you're passing two turns in a row of Bird, you, you're going to hard lose against Elich. Hard, hard, hard lose. With these, I could go. I could play these if I want, but instead I'm going to Nightmare Phoenix stuff away. And this is going to be game. We are 2-0 now. Let's go 2-0. Let's go. So I'm going to check my fantasy team right now, okay? Guys, I need you all to give me your energy for my fantasy team, okay? Chat, we're going to check out my fantasy team right now. And I need everyone to give me your uh, best luck ever because my team is in shambles, boys. Kyler Murray is a fucking absolute pussy. Loses. Last time I checked down 17 nothing to the Detroit Lions, bro. The Detroit Lions! You better have had like three touchdowns. My team's in shambles. Arizona loses 30-12 to 12 to Detroit. You got JT. Must be nice. I'm facing JT. Fucking Jonathan Taylor. This guy's too good. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a really good idea, bro. Joe Burrow. Yeah. Throw the ball to T. Higgins. And now your superstar receiver, Jamar Chase. Oh, nice. Nice, bro. Yeah, we're losing. Let me make this very clear to you. I'm talking to my team right now. Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase. If you don't get your heads out of your asses right now and score three fucking touchdowns, I will literally release you. I will release you. I will cut you from my squad. I had Christian McCaffrey! Why does he have to play two games a year before he goes down? Because the wind was too heavy. Jamar Chase is the best receiver in the NFL. I don't care. Under the age of 25. After Cooper Cup. Let's go, boys. Round number three. I really want to win this round three. We're facing off against Birds again. A little unfortunate, but that's totally okay. That's totally okay with me because I actually think that we have a great bird matchup despite people thinking otherwise. I think we destroy birds because all we need to do is just set five. And a set five destroys any single bird hand on board whatsoever. So here he's going to go Robin. And we're going to deal with a similar board as last time. We got 
Robin as well as Avion, and this is just totally fine with me. Robin Avion ain't gonna do shit to set five. It really will not. So I go X time off the bat. I want him to bounce Avion back to his hand, but he doesn't. I reveal prison. I set five. This game's over, boys. <laughs> this game's over, man. This game's absolutely over. I'm gonna let him play some cards and let him activate some cards. I want him to enter battle phase. I want to do a whole bunch of stuff. I want I want to him to get rid of Zeus. He does enter battle phase. I go Scarlet Conk. I should have put them both in attack position. That was a misplay because uh, he's going to attack and try and attempt to go into Zeus. Uh, but instantly when I recognize he could go into Zeus, I, I think really deep here. Uh, since he has the opportunity to be able to Zeus, uh, I do have Trap Trick to get D-Barrier if I really want to. So I'm debating if I want to do this on the battle phase. Or in the battle phase before he has an attempt, before he attempts to Zeus, I just activate Trap Trick, and I'm going to do it right now. I was going to Trap Trick, get D-Barrier, and I don't even want him to go into Zeus at all. I'm not going to activate the tr the, the D-Barrier. I'm going to wait for him to Zeus first. Because if he Zeus's first, I'm just not going to activate D-Barrier until uh, he does. So that's going to be the strategy here. And then if he were to Zeus everything, I'm fine. Uh, he ends up not falling for it, and then when he activates Zeus on my turn, I just d chain D-Barrier. So it worked out great. We outplayed him uh, over there. It worked out fantastic. And we have got two double, we have a double Golden Lord now. We're going to clear his board and <laughs> set five again. That's what, what Elledge does. He ends up scooping. Like, look at that, bro. Elledge is just so broken. He's just so damn good. It's not even the Elledge cards that make Elledge so insane. It's the only deck in the world that can consistently play 25 heavy traps or 20 heavy traps and still be able to clear any board going second. It's the go second traps that make this deck absolutely insane. It's unreal. It's actually unreal. How good these go second traps are. I'm chilling, I'm yawning, I'm mossing. Because I know that my hand's absolutely busted. And there's nothing that no bird deck could do. Whatsoever. And we're not even playing on the LH playmate. It's absolutely absolutely wild. You can only imagine. This match would have been over five minutes ago if that was the case. So uh, here, my guy's going to put up uh, Draco Future. Draco Future does pose as a problem to LH because it can't be disturbed by effects and all that. But... Guess what? It could be tributed by Sphere Mode. <laughs> it could be tributed with Lava Golem. Let's go. Let's go, boys. You already know what it is. We've got the best side deck and main deck against Birds. Birds is easy for this deck. All combo decks are actually really easy for Eldritch because you just activate... As long as they don't like Hand Loop. Yeah, I just Sphere Mode everything. And I say, see you later. I let him activate this on the draw phase. And then I Sphere Mode everything. And then I just set five. I just set five. That's GG. Cosmic's one of them. No problem. He has reboot. I saw him the reboot, and that is that is GG. Let's go. We're gonna we're three zero. We're not gonna go to game or match four. This is match number four. We're hopping straight into match four. We're like straight into match four here. He's playing virtual world. I do know there's a little bit of color issue with his webcam. It seems like, but that's all right. He's playing virtual world, and I'm gonna let him go off here. Uh, he puts up Geo Math Mech, which is kind of covered a little bit. The Geo Math Mech Synchro 12 is an issue for, for Elledge. Elledge cannot deal with it unless you have Golden Lord because your traps just un are un it's unaffected by all the traps. Now, for those that want to actually learn how to play Elledge properly and like an absolute master, this game right here, this whole match right here is like, you're going to witness a lot. This match literally took like 40 minutes on the dot. It's incredible what this match could do. So what does that could do? So pay close attention. I goes in to, uh, you have to do everything perfectly, man. Like, uh, the way uh, the way I did this, see, I goes in when he activates his effects. He can't activate his virtual world in hand. Golden Lord attack over his monster. I, surgical, bro. Surgical, like mathematical precision, like a surgeon, dude. Like insane. Uh, so now he's gonna put up Shen Shen again. He was Chalice after his Chalice as they rush recklessly. That is how beautiful uh, cards like Chalice and Prevailer, like bro, Chalice and Drop ones are forced to be rushed recklessly against Eldritch. That's why you don't play Dogmatica bullshit. Because if you just play pure Eldritch and play with Heavenly Lord of Prison, Chalice, Droplets, Imperm, Gamma, Valor, all these cards, Imperm, Droplets, Dark Ruler, they're all useless. And so don't play stuff like Chalice, or, or sorry, Ecclesia. It's going hit, to get hit, get hit with Chalice, Valor, Imperm, Droplet, all that type of just stuff. So here, I'm going to go Gustav Max to burn. Uh, I'm under Golden. I couldn't. I, I, was, I wanted to do that. Probably should have sent it, but I didn't want to get rid of Gozen. But now I will, because I, I, I can see I can go for game. So now I'm going to attack that, attack that, attack that, go for Gustav for game. Let's go. So game one goes to us. We lost the dinosaur against Virtual and still won. So now we're going to go to game number two. Game number two is going to be very awesome for you guys to see. That link over there is Hip Posh and Ingen. I would personally advise that you, you need to play one uh, link to light to play around Gozen. 
It's the same reason why if you're playing rivalry, you should play you playing vampire sucker. But I don't have uh, the Lina Light Charmer. Otherwise, I would play the Lina the Light Charmer. Uh, I do have Hip Hush and Ingun, so I played that instead only because it's the only one I had. But I would advise if you had Lina Light Charmer, play that instead. And I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys do want to see the deck list of this of this deck, make sure to comment down below that you guys want to see it. And I'll make a video specifically on the deck list and explaining choices and exact reasonings. This is with three Heavenly Prison in the main deck because I feel it's that broken. And we are playing a 45 card deck. There's a reason why. I can explain exactly why the higher the card is you have in your deck, the less likely you have of drawing... Oh, it's a more disaster right here. But the less likely you have of drawing doubles. And and in a deck like Eldritch, it's very important. Also, because we're playing Chris Unland, we're playing like tw like so many Eldritch cards, like 18 Eldritch cards in total. You don't want to draw four Eldritch cards. That's why by playing 45, uh, it, it, you're less likely to open like four Eldritch cards. I strike this. I have Scarlet. <coughs> I don't have it like I want it, the way I do, I'm doing this is uh, I'm playing this really slow slowly I'm playing this game right now slow as fuck because I do not want him to uh, I don't want to exhaust my resources and I had goes in I could have used goes in at any time I want him to exhaust his resources so I also knew that he could also pop it with Shushe eventually he got enough stuff in there to pop the goals in and that's okay he has Shen Shen and the Synchro 6 and this, we are in a pretty pretty rough spot right now but that's okay. We do got Golden Lord. I, I had to negate the effect of Shen Shen with D-Barrier. That's why I was actually able to summon the Golden Lord. I used D-Barrier. I popped that. Then I'm going to set because uh, Shen Shen will be live again on his turn. So he's going to get bring out a Lulu. Bring out all this jazz. He has a lot of stuff. Here I'm going to Needle Sealing. You guys see how powerful that Needle Sealing was? That's why you always got to play Needle Sealing. It's insane that people don't do it. I held that Needle Sealing so long knowing that I could do it like that. I end up clearing his entire board here. We both don't have many resources left, and time is a factor at this point. So we gotta play fast. We gotta play fast, 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 fast. So we're both thinking what he wants to do. He brings out Shen Shen. Uh, he does. I don't have any cards in my hand right now. I just have the set one. Uh, I have both Golden Lords in play. One in graveyard, one field. He's gonna start doing some virtual plays. I'm gonna, but I'm like, there's just just not much he can do with. There's not much we can do at this point. A lot of my engines gone. I'm gonna set here. And at this point, we just recognize that I lose. There's nothing I could have done to win. So we're going to go straight to game number three here. And game number three, I got to go super speed because uh, Eldritch is really tough in time. I decide out every single one of our Eldritch cards that burn. I set five. I just let him do his thing. I, I make sure to take out the strike, to take out the judgment, to take out El Land, anything that does damage. I make sure to stop his, pl uh, his play as soon as I could. Uh, he had nothing really. I go with Caro. Uh, we recognize that I can just attack for a game for 1800 and there's nothing he could have done. So let's go, boys. We are 4 0. We won the tournament. We won locals. Let's go. We are the champions together, my friend. We something in victory till the end. We are the champions. We are the champions, boys. 4-0, baby. 4-0. GG's. GG's to everyone. We face two birds, one sword soul, and one virtual world sword soul. Let's go. Let's go, just invincible. Uh. No time for losing. I'm going to listen to that at the gym right now. All right, guys. I got to go get jacked. You already know I'm going in the best shirt in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. You already... Can I smash Triff? No, Haxis. No, you cannot. Uh, I'll be going in the best shirt in Yu Gi Oh! history to get the, these gains. So, uh, everyone say hi to YouTube because you're all going on YouTube, baby. We uh, finished 4 0. We won the tournament. I think we're going to win some cool packs. Now, I'm going to go lift and get fucking jacked. So, I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Everyone, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, it don't matter, baby. What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? And also, goodbye, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. While COVID shit's still going on, we're gonna need to be we're gonna be doing more remote vlogs and less local vlogs. Sadly, because the uh, Toronto locals are a lot of them are closing down right now. So big shout out to everyone. This Ella Jack is absolutely insane. I will be showing you guys right now on YouTube. Everyone, I'll be showing YouTube right now a deck profile of the deck that I won with, that I went undefeated with, and it is really turboing out this king right here, this absolute legend lord right here. I mean, wow, thanks camera. Finally, zoom. Beautiful card. Hope you guys enjoy the stream and video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.